everybody, welcome back into the lab. Today, we're going to measure out the 0.25 grams of baking soda that we calculated in our pre-lab number one. I'm going to transfer that mass into my Erlenmeyer flask here to be prepared for mixing. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pour out about 25 milliliters of vinegar into this beaker and then I'm going to use a syringe to suck up exactly 20.0 milliliters of liquid. Next I'm going to attach this stopper that has a rubber hose connected to it and I'm going to also attach the syringe into a second hole. Next, I take the graduated cylinder and I completely fill it all the way up to the top with water. And then I'm going to invert it upside down so that I can collect the gas that is escaping from the reaction between vinegar and baking soda. As you can see here, I thread the end of the rubber tubing down under the level of the water and under the graduated cylinder. And now I'm going to press down gently on the syringe to transfer the vinegar and baking soda together. The reaction begins to happen. As you can see, the gas bubbles begin to float up inside the graduated cylinder, which is good because I'm trying to figure out exactly how many milliliters of carbon dioxide gas I will collect. The reaction is going to run until all of the baking soda has been used up and the bubbles stop forming inside the upside down graduated cylinder. After the reaction has completed, you can see the level of the liquid inside the graduated cylinder is at about 12.0 milliliters based on the bottom of the meniscus. That means the gas volume inside the cylinder is 88.0 milliliters. Now remember, we added 20 milliliters of vinegar and so that volume needs to be subtracted because that amount was displaced originally. The final gas volume then is 68.0 milliliters.